Oh, that was weird. <laughs> um. <laughs> hey guys, figured I'd start this off right away. <laughs> Thank you for the emote spam. I really appreciate it. Ah, jeez, Pi. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I hope she doesn't. But if she does, hope she recovers soon. Lots of rest and hydration. And, um... Allegedly, don't take ibuprofen. But... That was the only thing that helped me with my symptoms. Tylenol wasn't touching them. But, allegedly, ibuprofen... Or ibuprofen... Uh, kind of hampers your immune response. So I guess it might take longer to recover using it. So, I guess just do some research and good luck. Yeah, I mean, it, um, I guess it just depends on, on you. Um, it kind of kicked our butt. I mean, it felt like a really bad flu, but for others, they felt nothing, so. Uh, so, like I, like I noted in the title, it's going to be kind of a short stream, guys. Uh, I have to definitely end by 10 a.m. my time, um, which is two hours and... 38 minutes from now, so I really apologize for that. Something came up this week, and my plans had to change. Yeah, and Hydra Major, how's it going, man? I saw you. Wine, vitamin D, and some kind of grass? <laughs> I did hear about the vitamin D. Uh, actually, that's when I started taking... Maybe it wasn't vitamin D, it's vitamin C? I don't know. I started taking an additional vitamin back then, though. Yeah, that's... I think that's what it was, too. D, C, and zinc. Gotcha, Wex. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Uh, ooh, new sound effects from Zero Fox. So we're going to be checking those out. That is really cool. <laughs> right, Wex? <laughs> All the doctors on Facebook. Don't forget your pills. Oh, good, Papa Man Beer. Hey, Zero Fox, this sound effect is really cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, Pi. Uh, those extra supplements should help. Red alert. Nice. Uh... I mean, this one's super close. I guess we could do that one. Yeah, we don't know what those are. Oranges is vitamin C, but that's not bad. Vitamin C definitely helps as well. Uh, Pi, I think your soldier's still doing pretty well. I think. Are you in a different base? Yeah, yeah, you're over here. You're still doing fine. <laughs> yeah, vitamins are still pretty important. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go after this guy. We're gonna have to be a little more careful 
these mediums have uh, the jellymen with that weapon that transforms you. So, so we need to be careful. And stay in the light. Oh, that's cool, man. Huh. That would be neat. All of our guys, I think, should be set up already. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea to avoid voice lines. We are dealing with Jellymen. Yeah, I saw that. And of course that guy's right there. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Someone else is over there. That guy didn't shoot at us. <laughs> right. He won't be able to shoot. Someone else shot at us over here. No, I can't see him. Yeah, that is a cool sound effect. Oh, wow. Dang, yeah. Cool. <laughs> we hit four. Uh, dash this way. Neil. Mackenzie can... Turn and shoot. And barely hit. Universe Antimatter, what's going on, man? Uh, unfortunately, we're not killing that guy. And I was really hoping to. 
Holy crap, that's a lot of guys spotted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, jeez. There we go. I can do it. Yeah. I'm not going to take the time to super micromanage that. Beyond Legendary? Oof. That's bold. Ah, there is a guy over there. <laughs> yeah, I I need to learn that. Oh, I bet Universe Antimatter. Hey, Lawman. Um, I'm hanging in there, man. I'm hanging in there. How about yourself? Our snow problem has almost gone away. Most of it is gone. Although, we did get freezing rain last night. This must be blocking sight. Uh, so I suppose we get to deal with that. We'll 
get them. Oh, another four. Heck yeah. <clears throat> so one cool thing I didn't learn till I was testing stuff, like last week or the week before. When you use the uh, Disruptor Pulse Launcher, your unit will automatically turn in the direction that the first target goes. In vanilla, and, and I haven't tested it in Open Apocalypse, but I'm talking like DOS vanilla, uh, your guy would not turn around. So I was always afraid there's a chance you might hit yourself or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they brought quite a few. <laughs> yeah, let's get that dab in there. How's it going? There's the berserk. That guy's not moving. Got D and D in thirty minutes or so. That's great news. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, that's always a good feeling. Wow, seven surrendered. <laughs> we, guys, we like practically didn't leave our ship. <laughs> That's a medium. I was mainly going for the aqua plastics because I know this medium gives you a whole bunch. Hey, one molecular s skill. Not bad. That gave us some good stats too. Uh, I swear we already have a squad leader. They must have, yeah. Yeah, they got, uh, they got a little salty, right? Oh, heck yeah! Uh, I think we're just gonna start selling these? Because we don't... They're not used for anything. We have tons. I think we'll be alright. Hmm. Get to sell that guy. Kind of want to keep the operator, though. All right, so let me look at my list real quick. All right, you are not on my list. Uh, so what do you want the name to be? And we have special units now. We have regular Aquanauts. We have Cyborgs, which 
I guess their stats can go higher than normal, but I don't think they can use molecular control. And they might train quicker, too. We also have um, molecular gifted, where you can use... Uh, or or your, your size strength goes up higher, so you can use molecular control better. And then you have the... The protected molecular protected where you have a hundred size skill or strength or strength but uh, you can't use molecular control twitch name would be fine and uh, did any of those sound good to you Oh, I think I remember that Zero Fox. Want to be a strong guy? So probably a cyborg then. And I think all of our special units are taken. Hoping on some screen time. Definitely. Uh, zero MC strength. Ooh. <laughs> Gotcha, okay. Um, well, you know what? That guy's pretty strong. You can have this guy. There we go. <laughs> yep. Oh, what am I doing? Yep, this is uh, base number two that goes out and does some secondary missions for us. Hmm, nice. I think we're gonna intercept that guy for now. <clears throat> uh oh, here we go. Oh, they don't want some of us. <laughs> Alien subconstruction. Each vessel has a chameleon-like structure carefully modeled on sea creatures and constructed of aquaplastics. So yes, every sub that the alien uses, or the aliens use, there's nothing vulgar about them. They are sea creatures, guys. Each submarine functions as an organism, not organ, organism, crew and craft in harmony. Most of these systems can be replicated, and a hybrid technology can be evolved to allow us to move up to the same technological level. Mag armor. Heck yeah. Ooh. Displacer Sonic, though. Let's go with that for now. Yeah, this base didn't want any. <laughs> Shut up, Mag. 
Oh, what's going on here? That was close. Ah, uh, this must be number two. Ah, and I've got you launching uh, gas cannon rounds. So blowing stuff up. With a crazy 92 throwing accuracy. Ooh, excuse me. That's a sonic cannon. A, a little bit of resistance, but not much. I think we're not going to shoot. Oh, that's true, yeah. Oh, but no one has the MC Disruptor. Oh, shoot. And I didn't give anyone the DPL either. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there he is. Here's the sub. Uh, I did briefly. I didn't, like, I didn't look very long at it. Cannon, huh? Uh, these guys have sonar, right? Yeah, twelve. Oh, one more step. Hey, Catnick. It's been a while, man. But, hey, I'm glad to have you back. I know life, uh, life happens. Um, are you talking about these ones? This is the exosuit. It's actually kind of an early armor. It's, uh, it allows you to float... Armor is pretty good, uh, but your stat losses are pretty severe. But, hey, it's flying. <laughs> yeah, they're actually pretty good. Just, uh, and you can't run either. So, you just kind of go slowly.
Right. Yeah, and the advantages I've been able to get with them are just huge. Oh, we got snipers on these two right here. Alright. I does need some experience. For being gifted, 45 is pretty bad. What's up with that? Yeah, yeah, this is getting pretty far. Our research is at 49%. So... Oof. So, we're probably halfway through, maybe? <laughs> Something like that, too, yeah. shot. I haven't beaten this before. This is the farthest I've ever gotten, and tech technically not the first time I've played it, but, you know, first time I played seriously and pushed through. Uh, so it's kind of hard for me to say. That's kind of what it's feeling like, though. Oh, that's another cannon. Uh, well, I mean... I don't think... You, you may not be wrong. I'll just put it like that. <laughs> Ooh. Dang. A drill and a cannon. This guy has a cannon, and there's one more guy inside. Chill, man. <laughs> it's almost fitting. <laughs> Little high there. Um, Zero Fox has given me quite a few mods that enhance the sound and stuff, and also added uh, the ability to unprime grenades, so that's been really cool. Not that I've used the unprimed grenades thing, but the music and sound effects have been great. I don't remember priming sound effects. Yeah, I, I don't recall that. Dang. 
you guys. Leaving it up to the snipers, huh? Okay, well, you got him. Are you crazy for liking TFTD's aesthetics over UFO defense? No. Not at all. Yeah, it's... That's, that's a very... Um, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm trying to say it. off. 7 out of 10, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's not bad. Hydrate. Never too much water for you guys, right? Well, I can ch <laughs> and another hydrate. I can um, I can change the color of the night vision. And <laughs> chug, chug, chug. I only brought my water bottle, guys, and I'm halfway done with it, so. It's going to be short stream. That's why I only brought the one. Ah! Helmet hair. Double dab. There we go. <laughs> I have orange tangerine flavored water. And it's, uh... It's Meyer brand Mio. And it is amazing. No sugar, zero calories. It's like drinking Kool-Aid. And I've been drinking this for... Almost seven years. Oh shoot, was there a Peter laugh? Crap, I didn't see it. It, the, the Peter Griffin laugh popped up right when my bot played a message. So I thought it was just the bot posting a message. So pop a man beer, I'm gonna get that here in just a sec. <laughs> It's, I'm supposed to do it right when I see it, but it blended in perfectly, so I'm sorry I missed it, man. Thank you for bringing it to my attention, though. Katnik, you want a guy? Uh, let me finish this mission, and I'll put you on my list, and we'll get you somebody. Uh, just let me know what name you want, and uh, if you want like a special character or something. Um, in this game, you have... You have regular Aquanauts. You have Aquanauts that have a hundred size or molecular control strength and really can't be taken over. They can't use mind control. Uh, you have Cyborgs, which get stronger than regular guys. And you have uh, the gifted Aquanauts that can use molecular control. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, Hydra Major, that would be pretty good. <clears throat> but, yeah, we can get a Cyborg in for you. Got him! Okay. Yeah, I totally missed that, man. That was well timed. <laughs> it, Zero Fox can feel you in a little bit on on that idea. <laughs> uh, Zero Fox, if you want to post that link, you can. I don't have it uh, readily available. Ah, no, it's... It's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Zero Fox made a demo video. And it was so good. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Crap, really? It's still uh, an amazing idea. I wonder if you could script it, though. Oh, yeah, you can't fly. Yeah, that's... Oh, hey. <laughs> What's going on, dude? Yeah, that, that would be the one uh, catch. That was a really good hit, but we didn't kill him. But, oof. What, what a way to get it, you know? <laughs> Dunked. The Catinator? Alright, you know what? Let me go ahead and get that now so I don't forget it or lose it. Nice. 
Come on. There we go. Alright. Nice shot. <laughs> right? Alright, bro. Actually, I don't even know if you can throw this far. Okay. Little off. But I think that's close enough. <laughs> yep. Subs probably clear. Or TF2 sounds. Oh, that didn't hit him? Wow, and he just marches forward. Jeez. And there are still more. Very nice shot. Ooh, hold on. How many time units did that guy have left? Nope, not enough. Yeah, probably. Alright, subs clear. I'm to march on out. Aren't they magics? Yeah, they look amazing. <laughs> we gotta find Cydonia, guys. Actually, Cydonia is real. Uh, just allegedly not the base. <laughs> Unless... Probably. first. There he is. And he's still holding the cannon. Jeez. <clears throat> Wait, how do you not see him? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, technically, this is open XCOM. But yeah, this is this is old school XCOM. All right, decent stat gains there. <laughs> yep. Sec, guys. Yeah, so this version has um, uh, like a like a high def H or not high def HD, uh, like symphonic or orchestral version. They, a whole bunch of subs came flying around and we just shot them all down. It's, it's a whole bunch of smalls and uh, very smalls. Uh, no. It was just a bunch of randoms that just happened to all converge in that spot. Got him. This guy's squibs has the DPL. The grenade relay. It's becoming a staple, Mech Mantis. <laughs> a little bit, Cat Nick, yeah. Oh, the MC stuff? Yeah. Uh, someone has it. Yeah, Shark tor Tornado 3. Right. Yeah, that'd be pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Uh, man, we need to get other people some kills, too. Like Finnick. Although we need to get some MC stuff going too. Oh, that's only a 15 tile range. One, three, five. Or no. Yeah, no. One, three, four. Four, six, seven, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. Eh, we got him once. <laughs> Form the firing line. Heh. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, McMantis? That's how it goes. <laughs> we are experts at it. We're going to bring the tank out, so you can tank. Finnick, standing aim shot. Nice. Sounds like a bad D&D &D plan. <laughs> but, aren't those good plans? Uh, oh. Hasserol? Did I pronounce that correctly? Hasserol? Cyril. I'm sorry if I'm hacking that. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Haha, <laughs> cool. Awesome. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying the show. Right, you have to DMS. Are you sure? Sometimes you might want to rethink it. We got another cannon out there. Nice shot. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. We're in the west central area. Not sure where the sub is yet, but I'm going to guess over here ish. Or maybe up here, because this. I think this probably protrudes a little bit further down, so I don't know if the sub would fit. Yeah, I doubt it's in that corner. Okay, another guy with a cannon. Forty nine. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Got him. We hit something else, too. Let's get some die grenades out for, I suppose, a little bit of protection. Ooh, I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with those sounds. guys. One up here. One right here-ish. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. Oh, no, he was down here. My bad.
Uh, man, Finboy really needs to get some kills. <laughs> oh, yeah, McMantis. <laughs> Fem. <laughs> no, no, not not Fem Boy, Finn Boy. Uh, sorry for the, the the little bit of mumbling there. Oh, thirty-five percent headshot. Zas trying to make up for uh, I think a couple streams ago. Yeah, this <laughs> this isn't pirates. That guy got drilled. Uh, I couldn't help it. Oh, yeah, I guarantee there's an audience for it. <clears throat> I'm not doubting that one bit. <laughs> right? stand up. Oh, that was the other guy that was hit by the Disruptor Pulse Launcher. <laughs> oh, yeah? Uh, well... I mean, can you blame them? That's like, before learning how to walk, you just sprint. <laughs> but hey, I mean, nothing wrong with that, though. We're going to take a standing aim shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the speed run on this game. Oh, cool. How many... How long have you been practicing? Uh, this is my first time. What? a boy right there. Might be able to do something cheeky. Hmm, not really. Who still has time units? I think Finnick might. Oh, Kadnick, that's been in um, Open XCOM for a couple years, I think. It doesn't show you what level they're on, just what tile they're on. So, I mean, obviously he's here, but, like, if this was a bigger sub he could be here he could be here or he could be here 
You just hold the Alt key, and anyone that you detected, it points at. Yeah, with this addition, it's a massive difference. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. The only thing I wish that could be added was the movement. Like, how much they moved. Because you lose that information. So, like, a lot of times I might click out of that page too quick. And then I'm like, well, crap. Did he move a lot or was it just a little? Stukov, what's going on, man? How are you doing today? Really, game? <laughs> All that work. You blow it. I'm hanging in there, man. I'm hanging in there. Thank you for asking. It's been a rough week. Yeah, I wonder if that can be done, Zero Fox. Or maybe instead of different sized arrows, different colored arrows? Like, red could be, like, a lot of movement. Yellow could be medium. And green could be small. So, like... Like, do it in, in in thirds, I guess. Like, anything... Like, if they have 66% remaining or more, uh, it'd be like a green arrow. 33 to 66. Well, I guess it'd be 67. Like, 33 to 67 would be yellow. And then 0 to 33 would be red. Uh, well, oh, uh, yeah, that could be something, yeah. It's possible. What? <laughs> what? He bled out, I guess. Or something. Passed out. Ooh, plus three to molecular control skill. Zest, plus seven to stamina. Ooh. <laughs> uh, and, hey, who knows, right? <laughs> wow, we're low on die grenades? Oh, no. Sir. Maybe. Dude, come up a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like a certain someone? I don't know what you mean. Come on, get back to base. Very large, what? Alright, so before I forget... Oh, we don't have an uh, NMC disruptor here. That's why it's not equipped. Do I need to transfer? Yeah, looks like it. We have 37 Disruptor Pulse Launchers at our main base. <laughs> I think we can sell a little bit. What do you guys think? Uh, 
Well, I am pretty sure we don't need these anymore. Useful for colonies? <laughs> yeah, we can we can keep a, a few extra. How about that? <coughs> mm. Exactly. Twenty four sonic cannons. Sonic. Uh, we could drop some of those, I suppose. Blast the rifles, drop some of those. Octo Dad Squad. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Now we're raking in some money. I have no use for inert delirium at this point. <laughs> no alien would suspect a thing. Probably not. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't think I need these anymore. Oh man, I think I remember that. All right, that's well, that's good enough for now. <laughs> we got that. Those. I think all you need is zerbite, right? Fifty. Lots of extra fun stuff coming. See, that was a very large... Oh, that thing's gone. It left. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Got him. Oh. Wrong button. Uh, taking the quickest point out of that circle, because... One thing I learned is the Barracudas, despite being made with, like, they're made with easy equipment, like, like easily obtainable resources, but they take forever to repair. But things like the Moray and the Deep Angel repair like that, and they take the uh, Aquaplastics. <laughs> Yeah, 90s were a time, that's for sure. Um, come here, you. Bye. <laughs> duct taping is hard? I guess. Alright, cool. So we got that MC Disruptor.
And let's see. I'm fine sticking with that. That knife is quite valuable. <clears throat> you you got to get the uh, the underwater duct tape. Aqua tape and flex tape? Yeah. Sir. Okay, you're pulling out that way. Nice. Okay, we're going to try this. I don't know if we're going to be able to blast this guy. Uh, no. It looks like he's probably supplying that colony. Yep. Yeah, Deep Angels can outrun the Hunter Killers, at least for now. <laughs> huh, that's a good idea. Magna Blast? Maybe. Yeah, it doesn't say. Hmm. <laughs> hey, film boy, what's going on, man? Yeah, this uh, orchestral TFTD is amazing. Yeah, we don't seem to have something incendiary like, at least not yet. Yeah, probably thermite or th thermite. <laughs> hey, it's going pretty well so far, man. We are taking it to the aliens. Very small aquatoid. Oh, Katnik. <laughs> so, the the colonies. We actually did take one out. It was, like, right here. And then the same month, they built this one. And when you take out a colony, if that neighboring country leaves, you gain them back. We re-lost uh, Euro Syndicate that same month. Yeah, and they've got the floating chrysalids. Uh, so the colonies are ridiculously difficult. We, I took my A plus squad, and we lost, I think, four people. So, yeah, 
And, and, and I had top of the line stuff. Like, we were built. So, I'm, I'm kind of rebuilding my, my A plus squad before I go back in. And I also want to get some better stuff. Like, just upgrade a little bit more before I go, go in on them. Yeah, pretty much, film boy. Uh, yeah, weapons are kind of already about as high as they can get. Um, I am just trying to get some better armor and better stats. Uh, no, Hydra Major, I, I hadn't heard of that yet. Uh, real quick to go back to what Zero Fox said. Um, I, I I thought I got the latest uh, uh, version of Open XCOM to work with this. I guess I didn't. So we're still back to using the what six point five point three or whatever. Um, I'm gonna look at it sometime this weekend. See if I can get. Get it going again. There's just some some weird object the game is looking for, and it's not starting up due to that. Um. Uh, oh shoot! What's this? Um. Uh, so like the newer versions, like hmm, there's a build that Meridian made that lets you have multiple autosave slots because I have uh, channel points that let you uh, try to save someone that died. So, uh, if you use those points, I can go back to like the previous turn and save your soldier. Um, it might be, film boy. Holy cow. Wait. The creation club? Well, who made the creation club? Yeah, and Film Boy 7 minutes, that's... That's not good, man. What's going on with that? Oh. Well, yeah, the sub exploded quite significantly. So, Bethesda's not suing, they're getting sued. I see, okay. Dang. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't know anything about all that. That's, uh, serious. I guess you really can't blame Microsoft for that. Come here, you. Oh. <laughs> You're not shooting over that.
Hmm, interesting. I don't know, film boy. Gosh. Zweistein, how's it going? Converted from a prime gaming sub to a tier one sub. Cool. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Oof. Nope. Uh, I don't... No, we do have one somewhere. But it might be full. Oh, bummer. Oh, well. Ah, there you go, Zero Fox. <laughs> that would be nice, Film Boy. I mean, the idea of DLC is cool, but to base a final build around that, I think, is a little bogus. So, Einstein, I'm hanging in there, man. It's been a rough week. Okay, Nick, you don't know what to have for breakfast? I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, biscuits and gravy, that sounds good. Yeah, full expansions. I remember those days too. Yeah, that fits real nice. I don't remember hearing that. Maybe that was after my time. I'll switch to live services instead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Zweistein. Hey, man, feel free to reach out if you need to talk or anything, dude. I'll, uh... I'll definitely listen. What's that, Hydra Major? Oh, shoot. Uh, let's see. Woohoo! That was close. Oh, yeah, probably either gets shut down or, or, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, probably that too. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Branded garbage. <laughs> yeah, don't be looking for my base. You're all right. True. 
I wonder, if I had multiple craft, could we shoot down this very large? I don't know if we could catch it with this guy. Yeah, D2 Remastered, I saw that. For science! Uh, yeah, definitely, man. Uh, could you send me a link to that? Or is that in the um, the mods, uh, the Open XCOM mods site? So we have the Displacer Sonic now. Lots of armor, lots of weapon power. Um, and it looks like we can use them above ground too. Okay, cool. Thanks, film boy. Yeah, I feel you guys about D2. And Diablo 2 Reforged. Speed run to 50. <laughs> Oh, man. That is stressful, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, while this sounds really nice right now, I'm not going to worry about the Displacer PWT. Uh, I've kind of got some other stuff I need to do. Like, like a lot of things. Uh, let's see. Wait. My other research base isn't doing anything right now? Are you serious? Oh, it's not usable above water? Oh. April 6th is still a long way to go, man. But, I mean, I, I hope it goes quickly for you, though. We can make eight. Heck yeah. Oh, good point. Good point, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and make a couple or a few of these bad boys. Actually, we should make... We should make... Uh, no, that's, that's going to eat a lot of Zerbite. We need to make a few, though. And at least putting one in each base would be very nice. Gotcha, man. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the Zerbite is where we're limited on this. And that's a very large limitation. So we're going to want two. One for each base. Oh, 
one attacking base, I should say. Wow. Oh, that's not bad, though. Huh. Okay. Alright, thanks, Zero Fox. That makes a huge difference. Oh! <laughs> This is why my second base wasn't showing any research, because we finished at the same time. <laughs> the Stingray. A heavy strike craft with hybrid propulsion and aquaplastic armor enhanced by ultra-dense microfibers. This craft can withstand meeting face-to-face -face with almost any USO. Consumes Zerbite as fuel. Armor 10. Three cannons as weapons. Evasion minus 10% and it requires two pilots. Yeah, three sonic cannons. This guy could do some damage. And that damage capacity is very nice. Okay. So, it's a bit slower than the Deep Angel, uh, but it can take a beating much better. So, it could potentially be an upgrade for the Moray, but definitely the Barracuda. But... I'm really struggling to get Zerbite. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that might be the case. Okay. We got the shark corpse done as well. This new species of shark is composed of both human and alien DNA in addition to extensive cybernetic implants, allowing it to operate on land for short periods of time. Stomach contents show this carnivore has a huge appetite for raw flesh. Razor-sharp teeth and heightened senses, along with a well-developed brain, make this a deadly fa and fast predator. Its thick muscles slows the cutting power of melee weapons, while its skin, composed of tiny teeth-like scales, has been reinforced with aquaplastics, protecting it from armor-piercing rounds. Okay. Uh, let's do something alive. Like that guy. <laughs> Street sharks! <laughs> Converge. Oh, um, let's let's quick save real quick because <laughs> uh, a lot happened since we last saved for science. Come on, don't run out of fuel, please. Oh, really, game? Uh, all right, for science. Oof. Oh, crap. Guys, what? Was, was that really, really good RNG? Okay. Barracuda's gonna take one, maybe two attacks on the way home. Should be alright, though. Yeah, yeah, aggressive, you shoot faster. Um, the, uh, the lowest one, passive or whatever, you shoot slower. But you're more defensive, I believe. Run, dude. All right. Uh, 
we could probably do this very large. Mm hmm. <laughs> we, uh, we shot down a very large sub, Katnik, with only two craft. And repairs are a day and a half. That's not bad considering it took 45% damage. <laughs> so science succeeded. I'm going to try something real quick. And we're not there yet. It's going to be... Oh, was that, was that was 37 hours. So half of that is 18 and a half. So roughly 18 hours. We'll have one built. We are going to check out that very large. And actually very large is... The ones we've fought so far haven't been the most difficult. Oh no. Hydrate. Hmm. And posture check. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, and a double dab. So let's get that in. Actually, Catnick, in this in this mod, um, if you shoot down a sub, or like if a sub lands, sometimes those attack craft will hover over it. So they kind of do go out and protect it. Yeah, look at this. Over three days for the Barracuda. And it didn't take the same damage that the Moray did. I mean, it's close. <laughs> Dance puppet. Uh, okay, we're going to wait for a day mission there, but I kind of want to see how our manufacturing is going here. Cool. Oh, that was perfect. Sixteen hours, so we're gonna have to wait till the next day for that. And that could be, yeah. And I think. I think it discusses that in here. Maybe. Okay, repair rate one on the Barracuda. Repair rate three on the Moray. <laughs> Flex tape in an old frame. That's actually almost what you do in X-Pirates. <laughs> yeah, that is true too. Yeah, Deep Angel, that's a three as well. So, yeah. Alright, alien containment's done. Oh, man, I am so torn. Like, I kind of want to skip missions. Um, to speed things up. But if I do that, 
I'm kind of missing out on things I need. The Barracuda is made by us. That could be Catnick. Yeah, that that is a good point. Um, okay, what's that called? Recycling. Ooh, these give us Zerbite and five Zerbite. Okay. <laughs> Shira. <laughs> yes, this is a mod called the World of Terrifying Silence. It basically takes Tear from the Deep and alters it very significantly. It's basically an overhaul mod and makes it harder. Right, Zero Fox. Yeah, yeah. So I would probably do like half of these, maybe. Yeah, we already broke down a whole bunch of these. But you, you only get two for one there. What do they change in general? Man, it, honestly, it's kind of hard to just say in general. Um, th there are more aliens. There are more items. It starts out super difficult. You have a couple of weapons. Um, uh, dart rifles and dart pistols are good in this game. They're an upgrade. Um, yeah, it's... It's... Uh, it, it's tough to say. <laughs> There's just so much different. <laughs> yeah, like, like almost everything's changed. Nice, Zero Fox. Nice. Um... Could someone give him... Yeah, yeah, thank you, Zero Fox. Yeah. It's, uh... You need Open XCOM. So you're gonna have to get that as well. Ah, thanks, Catnick. So, yeah, keep that in mind as well. Yeah, yeah, so what you download um, comes with OpenXCOM, but if you have OpenXCOM separate, uh, you could just put the mods from that download into your mods folder and just play through your normal OpenXCOM. Um, yeah, and you have to own Tear from the Deep and use those files in OpenXCOM. Uh, what is OpenXCOM? It's only the best open source remake of a game ever. <laughs> uh, it basically takes XCOM away from DOS and puts it in its own engine. And uh, it, it's amazing. FSO wishes to disagree. Ooh, what's FSO? Oh, free space open? Okay. It, it To me, it's the best open source game out there. <laughs> yeah, so you'll need the base game. And you don't have to extract the files. Uh, the instructions come with OpenXCOM. If you go into the TFTD folder, it'll tell you what you need to do. But you have to download tear from the deep, either from GOG or Steam, and when you download all that stuff, you have to transfer, like, one of the folders into your OpenXCOM stuff, because legally you can't distribute OpenXCOM with the games as well.
Alright, we can recycle some stuff when this finishes. And also, uh, Shira, I have some additional mods. Uh, most of them courtesy of Zero Fox. So I have... Like right now, this is XCOM Apocalypse music playing. Um, one of the mods adds additional tracks specifically from Open... Or XCOM Apocalypse. We have a whole bunch of sound effects added and altered. Uh, some are kind of silly, but fitting and fun. Now we're not intercepting that. Sweet. Exactly, exactly. Can we catch that? Dang. Alright, let's get to recycling. We're going to recycle some of these guys. Let's do... <laughs> that's true, Zero Fox. That's true. Um, it's probably considered abandoned wear because of how old it is. And, I mean, there's just, like, nothing going on with it. Yeah, that is one of the unfortunate things. We have a ridiculous amount of colonies. Or at least up to 12. Yeah, that's true, Zero Fox. Fozgord, what's going on? How are you doing today? Alright, looks like I have about 45 minutes. Oh, gotta get that double dab in there. Heck yeah. <laughs> Just retro, nothing wrong with that. Alright, we need to convert somebody over to... Um, Disruptor Pulse Launcher person. You're getting alien invaded today? Uh-oh. And Adso, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Holy crap. <laughs> Three double dabs? Four double dabs? That's an octo dab. Octo dab. Oh, what's the game called? Eh, whatever. Five... Five double dabs. <laughs> Done. All right, so we got one. We got two. We got three. We got four. And we got five. There we go. <laughs> Dance for our amusement. <laughs> yeah, just about. Um, hmm. 
This person might be good for that. <laughs> Almost like the Michael Jackson thriller. <sighs> yeah? Yeah, probably. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I right, drop that. You know what? We're going to drop these for now. Okay, so now we can re equip. Get one of those. Uh, let's see. Get some grenades. Ah, Film Boy, thank you for gifting the tier 1 sub to Katnik. Thank you so much. <laughs> and hey, Katnik, um, I I'm pretty sure I'm making changes, but just so you guys know, those of you with the tier 1 sub, we do have Sectopog. Um, I'm probably going to change it, because it's kind of hard to see what exactly is going on. Um, but I, I took a picture of the, the new com sectopod and, um, kind of traced over it in Inkscape and then tried to do the, the pog mouth, but... Oh, crap. That's not good, man. Like, just now you did it? That looks look more like a pop cat. <laughs> Alright, we'll get a couple die grenades. Alright, that's, that's not a bad setup. Uh, and you know what? We'll do that. Oh, jeez, yeah. I, I hope it's not serious as well. That's no joke. Um, and then... Uh-oh. What am I forgetting? Maybe I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, that's cool, Zero Fox. I've I've been gifted subs and I haven't been in, in the channel. Like like I wasn't even on Twitch. I was like out and about. And then I go to watch, like, I, I get on my computer and I do stuff, and, like, I'll get on Twitch, and I'm like, oh, I've, I've got notifications. And I go look, and it's like, oh, so-and-so gifted you a sub to so-and-so, like, eight hours ago, and I'm like, I wasn't even home. <laughs> I'm like, how? how? <laughs> like, I go and thank the person, but I'm like, thank you, and... And the craziest thing is, there was one channel I was gifted a sub to, and I've never been to that channel before. They're not on my auto host. I've never heard of the person. Like, I don't even watch that game. And I'm like, thanks. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cool, film boy. Ah, uh, cool stories, guys. Yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, it, I, it's appreciative, for sure. But I'm like, I'm like, how does that work? I mean, I understand random picks from who's there, but not like that. 
I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we have some humans in here. The right Zero Fox? I've seen a few streams where someone gets a little uh, gift happy. And I'm like Nice, I wish I wish I had the money to do that. That'd be really cool. Really, game? You're giving me Tassoths on a very large. <laughs> you can check mark the trains. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Eh, it is what it is, man. You know, I'm just glad to have you guys around. <laughs> More dino elevator shenanigans? Uh, I don't think dinosaurs are underwater, are they? Aren't they just uh, above-ground terror units? Drudge, that could be it, man. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, those those were good times, man. And then that that picture I took sitting in that police car. That was awesome. Oh, yeah, gosh. And they kind of... Well, they didn't keep that in the new XCOM, but, you know, the one time where my... my Rocketeer decided to turn 90 degrees and shoot the ground. That wasn't fun. Well, these guys aren't playing with uh, their sonic cannons either. Oof. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's a rough start. Zarquids or tentaculants? Could be either one. I'm not sure. It's okay to die. It's not okay to miss, though. Oh, that's right. Zarkwits are with Gilmen. You're right. And that shot might have hit him in the back, which is kind of sucky, because that's where his armor's strong. But it might have been the side as well. <laughs> yeah, hallucinoids, yeah, I think they're with aquatoids as well. It's, uh... It's just an interesting time in XCOM. <laughs> what can I say? I 
I just remembered, we might want to be careful with... Uh... Disruptor Pulse Launchers. That would be cool. All right, we have tentaculants or tentaculets. Huh? Oh, no problem, Zweistein. It's cool, man. We are working on a very large that we shot down. Ooh, nice, Zero Fox. Okay. Oh, dang. That guy's on the ground, so we could just grenade him. Or maybe Papa Manbeer can launch at him. 26. That's going to be a crazy shot. We're going to try it. Oh, shoot! Aw, oh, man. So close. Yeah. Yeah, that is a tough arc. And, it, and it's... It's hard to calculate how the game's gonna hit the target. Because in the one mission earlier, the arc, instead of, like, hitting it halfway, to me it felt like it came down where I targeted. And then that time it looked like it just sailed through where my target was. So it's it's awkward how to target, I guess. Okay. Acquiring firing solution. Hmm. That's a dangerous shot from here.
Oh, we can't do it. One time unit. Um, anyway, yeah, crap. I think Celine could just do it from standing. Okay, that'll work. Just undo this, I guess. Step this way. Uh, get ready to come out. Alright, I don't seem to spot anyone else. That guy's not going to be hurt too much. I think they're resistant to explosive. Yeah, well, 10%. That's not bad. That yeah, might take him down. He's already hurt. I know. How dare you? And we had the shrimpy in uh, in, in die as well. All right, so we're gonna have to be really, really spread out now. Okay, that guy's right there. Uh, no one's really gonna have a shot on him. Not a good shot. Close. I think we hit him. It was just so outside his range. It didn't didn't have any kick. Forty nine for an aim shot. There we go. I guess I wanted him... <laughs> I wanted him covered. Hmm. 
I have like one hydrate left. Man, I am really terrified now. Oh, not anymore. Last one, guys. <sighs> All right. Now, now we can focus. <laughs> exactly. Well, now, now I don't want this guy here because he's just right out in the open. That's an easy kill. So we'll just pop him here. He'll he'll open the door and fire. <laughs> Watch out for the stealthy crab. <laughs> ah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, cause I'm I'm in such a race to get to the bathroom. I'm like, I gotta get done. I gotta get done. So usually in very larges, they might have like two or three guys with disruptor pulse launchers, but they don't they don't seem to get used very much. So I think we shouldn't be too bad now. Of course, I only have one flying guy now. But I think we'll be all right. All right, good hit. Uh, we could probably grenade him as well. And that should stun him. I don't think it'll kill him. Come over here, stay in the die. Uh, let's scoot you up. Like Mantis. Come out now. Uh that guy over that way. <laughs> right, right, yeah, of course. All right, so we did hit that guy. <laughs> Whew. <clears throat> we just, uh, we opened up this UFO a little bit. <laughs> How about that? Oh no. Oh well that that might be able to do something. What the 
All right, we took just a little bit of damage. Hmm. Went a little too far in. Because I could disrupt to those guys now. That's gotten them pretty close. Well, so far that's what it's looking like. survived. <laughs> Reload. Go, go, go. I was afraid of that. And now not enough time units. Thanos, good morning. How are you doing today? Well, that's a nice try. A highlight. <laughs> wow! What? Wow, what a shot. Look at that. I was looking for that angle. I was looking for that angle for Lord Polish, but this was in the way. I was like, that's not that's not gonna happen. <laughs> From downtown. Oh shoot. Oh, brilliant, Zero Fox. You know what? That's going in that highlight. <laughs> I love it. So right here... Wow. That was that was a sweet shot. Now oh, there he is. Oh shoot. Whew. Okay. Got another one in in Yakovirs. Ah, oh, nuts. 
Yeah. It happens. Pop a man beer? I don't think you have that arc. Okay, I guess you did. Oh, look at you. It was worth a shot. That would have been really cool if it hit. So... Probably right there. <laughs> Isn't it though? <laughs> right, let's duck behind here real quick. Right, stay there for a reaction shot. Um. Not a fan of shooting by Coveers. Can we dash over here? Ah, we'll hang out right there. And or I'm sorry, Lord Lord Polish, not Coveers. <laughs> ah, nice Zero Fox. <laughs> Good deal. Hey, we'll we'll take them when we can get them. Right. Yep. Yeah, I remember that game. I don't think I played it much, uh, but I remember it. I'm not sure we're getting Zerbite from this mission. Oh, now you don't see him? Oh, now you do. <laughs> uh... Oh, we made it real easy to get up there now. I'm gonna back up. Speaking of PlayStation games... Yeah, only one brain so far? Yeah. That is a little suspicious. That's why I'm approaching very slowly. Zigzag, zigzag. Oh, crap, I've got eight minutes, guys.
<laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along. I'm not sure, Hydra Major. It almost sounds familiar, but I can't quite place it. Wow, we only knocked them out. Hogs of War. Ah, oh, yeah, I... I thought... Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'd have to see it to really remember. bad. Oh, wait. Just clog it up. Film Boy, thanks for the second gifted sub. To Hydra Major. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, man. You guys are the best. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Suppose I don't need to focus this way. We have an entry there. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, coming up this way is actually not going to do anything for us, though. We still have to go through this door. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, that's another disruptor. Get up close. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Oh, hold on a sec. Oh, nothing. Nothing real close there.
That's a good question, Magix. I don't know. Alright, I have two minutes, guys. Um, actually, I, I should... Let me, let me run out this turn real quick and um, finish it up. Cause there's, there's no way I'm finishing the mission that quickly. All right, let's go ahead and save it here. We'll wrap it up next weekend. My hands are a little cold, so they're kind of shaking a little bit there. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and change our overlay. And it'll freeze up on us. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and no, no brains this time. Uh, we're going to find someone to raid real quick. Um, appreciate you guys hanging out with me so much. Sorry it's got to be a short stream. Some bad stuff happened this week, and I have stuff I need to help with, so I appreciate your guys' understanding and patience. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, I think, unless things change again, it should be a regular stream tomorrow. So we'll be back with some more Long War Rebalance. I, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. It, I can't thank you enough for hanging out with me and helping me keep my mind busy. I really appreciate it. So, um, we'll end it for YouTube. So, those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.